Hi guys, what's up? So I am back with another video. I thought I would do a makeup video. I'm going to try a um, metallic gold cut crease eye look today. Um, I say try because I'm going to see how it looks and what colours to blend it with from my palettes to see if I can use it for communion or not. I'm not too sure if it goes with what I want to wear. Um, I've not got a dress or anything yet, but I know like the colours that I want to go with. So we're just going to try it out. I have got a mirror here, quite a dirty mirror. Um, so I'm just going to use this. I don't think I can stand it up anywhere, um, purely because it's from Chino and even the stand is smaller than the actual frame. Um, but I'll also try to like not hold it in front of you guys. So I'm going to start with my eyebrows. Um, and that will help me give my eye form. Um, I feel like I've got quite a, um, uh, a deep cut, a deep crease here, um, or like hooded eyes. So you can't tell when I lift my eyebrows up, but I personally can see it. Let me just pull one of these drawers out for me to put my foot on. So. been quite a while since I filmed um just because I've kind of been being lazy I've only been working like maybe four to six hours a day um but then now that summer's coming when the sun's out I want to go to the beach and also I go to the gym every day and once my boyfriend's home I just want to be with him um but I am going to try and get back into a routine of filming once or twice a week, um, depending on how it goes. And just see how I get back into my routine like that. Um, because YouTube is something I do like to do and I don't know if many of you know, but I don't actually get paid to do YouTube although I've been doing it for a fair few years. Um, I did get paid, not much, maybe like 10 euros a month, five euros a month, you know, nothing, just pocket money. Um, but i am now been took off of the partnership programme. So it is definitely a hobby, um, but I do, it's a hobby that I do really like doing. Sorry, you're talking to a, a board. Um, So, yeah, I do need to, like, get back into a routine. If I put that there. Oh, look, I can do my makeup like that. Not my eyebrows. I need to be able to focus more on my eyebrows. God, what is that? Um, yeah, I don't know if you can tell my roots are quite dark. My natural hair colour is this, and down here is highlights. Um, just to get my roots to match in in the winter now that it's getting to summertime I've not bothered doing my roots and also my parting is normally like here um, I've changed oh, falling over I've changed it um, just because I was starting to get like a thinned area starting I've had it for a couple of years to be fair um, and I am trying to get rid of it so this eyebrow is always this one is always so hard for me to do because it's like so different this one I just follow its natural shape and this one's like not really got a shape and the shape that it does have doesn't match um, so I tend to struggle with this one a little bit more This gel is like so crap, it doesn't really at all give like um, a hair look to it. You can like clearly tell that I fill in my eyebrows. I do want to get a better one, but it's just going to have to wait. God, that looks bad. Hmm. 
I use the Kat Von D concealer. Um, you're gonna find, like, realize straight away my foundation is so white for me at the minute because as white as I look now, I have actually got a tan. Um, so we're just gonna have to bronze the shit out of my face. I think this is the worst my eyebrows have turned out in ages and I think it's because of the mirror I'm using. Um, either that or I'm just having a really bad eyebrow day. I can also lift this eyebrow up and I can't lift this one. It's like a muscle problem that I have with this. I have no idea why but this one like I can lift up no problem and this one I can't. So, now I can actually get on with the eye look. Um, I'm going to put... The poor... Professional face primer on my eyes. I do actually have a Kiko eye primer. But um, I'm not really that keen on it now. I used to really, really love it. Um, but I've just kind of gone off of it. I, I'm just going to put that. And a little bit also under. Like so. My hair looks a mess now. How's that happened? I've not even touched it. I've got a cup of coffee here as well just to keep me going. I've also got a mirror behind you, um, so if you catch me looking up, <laughs> it's because I'm looking there. Um, I'm going to go in with my Sweet Peach palette. I don't know if I've dropped this or what, but it doesn't shut properly. Might be from Moving House, I'm not too sure. And with my very, very dirty brushes, which I need to clean... I'm going to go in with um, peaches and cream and I'm just going to put this all over my eye. Now I'm going to go in with, oh, itchy back, pure, and I'm just going to put that in my crease. I'm going to use the same brush. Um, I'm going to put it quite high up as well. And quite far out so that I've got space to to um, to clean it up. Not 
Okay. I'm going to go in with a slightly smaller brush and I'm going to go in with Summer Yum. And again, just put that into my crease. I love these two colours. I really want to get the um, the Naked Heat palette. I was going to get it when it came out, but um, I ended up not getting it. I can't remember why. Um, so I really want to get it maybe not this month, but next month. Okay, after that, I'm going to take this very, very small brush and I'm going to take the colour Tempting. And I'm going to put that into the lower part of my crease and try not to use too much. Now I'm just going to take my concealer and create the cut crease uh, part of this look. So I'm going to take the same brush that I used with my eyebrows and I've also got a flat brush here for the bigger part of my eyelid. Oh. And I'm going to do the exact same on the other side. So I actually did this, a similar look to this on um, New Year's Eve. And what I did was right in this crease here, I put um, a gold line and then I left the eyelid plain and I just did a wing liner. Um, and I really, really loved how that looked. Seems to be makeup on my drawer and I didn't put it there. I always, no matter what I do, always end up liking this eyebrow and this eye uh, better for some strange reason. I have no idea why. Um, and the worst bit is this is the way my fringe falls, so it's normally the, the eye that's hidden. Okay. So now... I can find it we are going to go in with the gold so this is just a Kiko gold liquid eyeliner um, and I'm just going to put that literally all over my eyelid I did a swatch on my hand yesterday to see how well it would work on a big big area and it looked um, more metallic than glittery which is obviously what I want um, so we're just going to do that. And put the mirror back down. So it seems to be popping a lot more in my mirror than it is in the camera. But that is super metallic. It's also super cracky, but... Uh, there's not really a lot I can do about that. That's just the fact that it's a cheap eyeliner. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with my super liner. It is uh, L'Oreal Paris. Um, and I'm just going to line my eyelid. I don't know how they, well this is going to go because it's running a little bit low. And on the glitter, I don't think it will work. But we can give it a try.
okay so so far it's proved me wrong it's actually working better than on my normal eyelid or maybe like the same um so i'm just gonna finish that and then i'm gonna go back to my sweet peach palette and this tiny brush which is the one that i used to prime my eyes and i'm going to take a mixture of pure and summer yum I just put it along my bottom lash line so I'm literally just following my lateral natural lip line so that is it for today's video I hope you enjoyed make sure you like and comment and if you want to stay up to date with my uploads then subscribe and I shall see you in the next one Bye guys.